Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a listing on Craigslist. The first thing I recommend you do is make a Craigslist account. Of course, you don't have to make an account if you're going to post to Craigslist, but I definitely recommend it. It's a lot easier to manage all of your posts and things like that. And it's a really easy process to make a Craigslist account. And down in the video description, I'll link a video that I made showing and going through the steps of how to make a Craigslist account. It's pretty simple and straightforward, so you can access that there. But once you're logged in to your account, right now we're on our account page and we're gonna make a listing on Craigslist. And for this particular listing, I have a few items that I'm looking just to get rid of. I don't want any money for them, so it's gonna be a free listing. I have a couple of really old belt sanders and Arbor Press that I'm looking just to have someone come and pick up and get out of my hair. So. I'm going to be making one listing that has three of these items in it. Of course, you can make three separate listings, uh, but it's a lot of times just going to be easier if whatever you want to put on Craigslist, you just put in one place. And if somebody comes by and takes one of your free items, you can always just remove that from your particular listing. But the first thing you're going to want to do after all of that, as we head down this step-by-step -step process, is to make sure that in this area, you have the particular um, state and city, as well as country, of course, that you're going to want to make this listing in. So once you click on that and wherever you want to make your listing, you're going to go ahead and click this little go option. And that's going to start us down this process of making our listing. So we're going to do for sale by owner. And then we're going to go down and click on the free stuff option because I'm not looking to get any money for this stuff. It's very old and I'm just looking for someone to pick it up and get it out of my hair. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the free stuff. And now we're getting to the position right now where we're gonna be typing in a title for our listing. Of course, we're not gonna have a price because it's free, postal code, and then kind of a description of what you're selling in. If you're selling more than one item, of course, you're gonna to wanna to list all of these different items. So then scrolling down here, you can put in the make, the manufacturer, the model, number, and name, dimensions, uh, the language of the posting, the condition of the items, if you're willing to accept cryptocurrency. And then, of course, moving on, you can have no reply sent to your email or reply sent to your email. And user can also contact me. You can list it by phone or by text message. Type in your phone number and extension if you have one, and then the name if you want to put your name here. Of course, just having your number is probably going to be good enough there. And then also you can show on a map where you're located. I don't necessarily really recommend putting in your street address or your cross street address. Probably just putting in your city is going to be good enough uh, for this particular option there. So then once you have all of that stuff typed in, we're going to click continue. So for my listing, I'm going to go ahead and type all of this information in. On the next page, you're going to have the option to put exactly and pinpoint the location of the listing. If you don't want to be too accurate with where your home address is, not a big deal. You can just go ahead and click do not show on maps or if you don't mind and you just want to kind of give a more accurate representation of where you are then you can just go ahead and move this little pin around on the map to wherever uh, that you want it to show up and then once you have that set where you want it to be you can either click continue to have the map portion save on there or again you can click do not show on maps on the next page here, it's going to give us the option to upload images. I definitely recommend that you go ahead and add images of whatever you're trying to either sell or get rid of. It's very helpful and it's going to lead to more potential uh, options for you to sell or give those items away. So on this page, you go ahead and click add images. And then once you click on that, it's going to pop up this uh, particular box here you just go ahead and click on wherever you have your images stored and we're going to upload these particular images once we have our images all uploaded at that point we just go ahead and click done with images so we're pretty much on the home stretch here on the next page you're kind of doing a review of a draft of what's going to be showing once you make and post this particular listing to craigslist so just moving on down through here you see that once you look through this and have a once over at it, if you want, you can go back and edit your post. You can edit the location and you can go back and edit the images. And then just going through here, we have our title, we have our images, 
we have our location there and then just moving on down our listing and our description and then just going through that pretty much is going to wrap up this listing so if everything looks good and you don't need to go back and edit anything you can just go ahead and click publish and at that point it's going to go ahead and put your listing on craigslist in the section that you have already picked out and uh, hopefully if you put everything on correctly and have a good price on whatever you're trying to sell or give away then you're going to go ahead and get contacted either through the phone number that you listed through someone calling or texting or if also you're allowing the option to people to email you uh, you can also have that as well so that's pretty much going to wrap up this video guys if you have any questions you can throw those down in the comment section and also i'm going to be putting together a video on how you can go back and do things like renew your listing repost and all things like that so thanks for stopping on in guys subscribe for more we hope to see you in future videos bye